in four, three, two, roll DTR. I'm Noah Holland, and I'd like to give you a quick tour of the LASD TV studios. LASD TV is a full production studio right in our school, and our student producers, like me, have to interview to be a part of it. So as a part of the production team, I have created original content for the YouTube page, like the Billy Swift videos, uh, the Creature video. Uh, I've also edited videos for Siena Heights University. I edited the Adapt and Overcome video. I also edited their graduation ceremony video. I've also uh, anchored for games, and I actually anchored the game I edited, being the Tecumseh and Ann Arbor Skyline game. My favorite job on the production team definitely has been working with LSN and the Leno Explosion Network. Recording games, uh, announcing games, uh, making graphics for games. I've done all three, and definitely out of the three, announcing is my favorite. It's just laid back, go with the flow, but like you're also in the game, you're just at it and um, get to dress fancy. It's kind of cool. I like it. And if you have a chance, I definitely recommend volunteer to help out with LASD TV with the LSN games. They're really fun and uh, part of the reason I fell in love with this program. Thank you, Noah. I'm Sean Watkins and I am also one of the producers here at LASD TV. I was really excited to be a part of this team because of the amazing opportunities I have working with Emmy Award winning Kelly Hybrader and her two assistants, Duran Pape and Paul Mallory. This year, we are dual enrolled as Sienna Heights students. We have been working with LISD TV since late last year, and now we have a strong handle on how to produce and edit video projects. Our team of TMC High School seniors are actually tutoring Sienna Heights seniors on collaborative video projects. We even get to use the latest video software and cameras, and we even use our cell phones, just like now. So we will be ready to hit the ground running when we graduate with whatever careers we decide to go into. Duran Pape is one of our teaching assistants. He is a filmmaker. Hi, Duran. Thank you. I'm Duran Pape, uh, LISD alumni turned staff member. I was here at the start of LISD TV back in 2014 when I was a student in the video and audio production class. I learned a lot and I really, really loved it and so after I graduated I became a college co-op and continued to work with LISD TV until several years down the line I ended up taking a more or less full-time kind of position with LISD TV as a staff member with my uh, colleague uh, Paul Mallory. Uh, under Kelly and we've had a really great time and it's been uh, a lot to learn and a lot to put forward and it's been great to have students that we can uh, take our knowledge and share with them and to help teach them what we learned you know years prior and to give them the experience that we've had. Uh, in my, uh, my own you know, video production life I'm working on a feature film right now and taking experience that I learned from both the Tech Center and out in my own uh, world of learning and I'm able to take that kind of knowledge with film and all of that and give that to the students as well with you know on hands experience and stories and anything that can help them from learning cameras to story work to anything in the editing process and so it's great it's, be, it's a great time to be able to learn and to teach and I enjoy it. Thanks, Duran, and our other teaching assistant, Paul Mallory, went through this program as well and is also a TMC High School graduate. Hi there, I'm Paul Mallory. The story of me here at LISD TV goes kind of like this. I started as a student like so many others, and in 2014 I was given an opportunity in my senior year to be a student co-op at LISD TV, so it was a good deal. I got paid to come in and work and learn. Um, after I graduated, I stayed on for a little bit and worked as a sort of graduate co-op position. And after that, I went off to the Motion Picture Institute in Troy, Michigan. I was there for about a year uh, for a intense certification program. Uh, I spent a lot of time on independent film sets. I studied production, uh, film directing, and screenwriting. So I got a good taste of all of those things. Um, it was there that I also 
became a uh, an award-winning actor. So that was unexpected and neat. And after all of those escapades, I came back here. Every year has been different, uh, from the technologies that we've used to the way that we've applied the lessons that we're, we're trying to get across with the students to the, the projects that we're working on. So it's always moving, it's always changing, it's always evolving, and we're there to cover as much of it as we can. I'm going to send it over to Logan Moo. Hi, Logan. Hi, I'm Logan Moo. I've been a sports anchor here at LISD TV for the past two years. We cover all sports, but sadly, this year we couldn't cover many football games due to COVID. This year, we have a new experience, and we are taking our talents over to the Siena Heights campus, where we will be taking a communications class. Digital media is the credit that we'll be getting this year. At Siena Heights, we have created the first preview of a football practice that we recorded and made into our own show. It's called Adapt and Overcome. Please enjoy. Hello, everyone. I'm Madison Hamilton, and welcome to... I'm here with head coach Matthew Cohn. Oh! Noah, Duran, and Cade are all over here. Risky, but he'll take it. I'm pretty confident with Cameron. I am excited. Because to us in television, this is our big game. And they're all a little nervous. It's like your very first big football game. Uh, they're going to be the anchors in front of the camera. They're going to be the directors, the graphics people, the, the photographers along the sideline. I'm really anxious. I love that teaching moment when they come off the field and they're just so pumped. I think this kind of a learning experience as a team uh, helps that student grow even more than any classroom, anything they're going to be doing sitting in a chair. If they can work together, they can problem solve. We've had a few snacks already this afternoon, but they're already working through them. I'm seeing the leaders step up, the pride in themselves, the fact that they will take this work and, and make it even better uh, the next time they head out on the field makes me proud of them. So I think these kind of experiences are just immeasurable when it comes to grading. You can't grade them because I just feel like anything they do, even if it's a mistake or a bad game or something totally went wrong, they will learn so much from all of those mistakes. It's going to be a crazy game, ladies and gentlemen. This has been a great experience so far, and I'm very excited for the rest of the year. Now let's send it back to Sean Watkins. Hi, Sean. So you might ask yourself, what do we do each day? But in general, we are learning how to and brainstorming video ideas for our clients. That all sounds so simple, but it's not. It is a complicated process that involves a lot of organizing and you can get lost very quickly if you don't follow your process. I think the LISD TV experience has taught me that everyone needs to pull their own weight and we can truly create something professional and worth watching if we all put our time into it. I also learned that it's possible for me to push myself and do things I never thought I could. Thanks Sean, I'm Cade Ringer and I'm a student producer for the LISD TV. I've been a part of the team for about two years now. I was really excited to be in this program because we do lots of fun like projects and stuff and I love being able to do like creative things whenever I get the opportunity whether it be like shooting video, uh, edit, like video editing, uh, graphics, um, and a little bit of music production here and there. Unfortunately, we were unable to meet due to the pandemic, but however, we're still trying to find ways to, you know, be able to meet up and actually uh, put together projects and do some really cool stuff. And we've been working through Zoom calls and group chats and stuff, but uh, we've been doing as much as we can with the resources we have at home. Yeah, we're still making it work. That's pretty much LISD TV. Hope you guys enjoyed. And from all of us here at LISD TV, stay safe and happy holidays. In four, three, two, one.